All right, guys, today we're going to take a look at my very old Fairmakes Morris electric motor and see if we can figure out what it's going to take to get this thing running again. All right, everybody, welcome back to the old iron shop. All right, guys, today we're out in the driveway because this electric motor is just too big and heavy to pick up. Uh, I've got a really old Fairbanks Morris electric uh, motor. It's a three phase, 220, 440 uh, voltages. And uh, I need a little help. And uh, Mike over at uh, Small Engine Mechanics said that he would probably be able to give me a hand. So. All right, he was also asking about the bearings. And uh, I was thinking that it had sleeve bearings, but I'm not 100% sure. Uh, maybe he can identify this just by the way they look, but. Uh, this might be some kind of a roller bearing in there. I'm not sure. It looks like uh, there's a little square-headed oil plug here, uh, top and bottom. I guess so you could drain the oil out. Um, yeah, I'm not sure about that one. All right, guys, this is the opposite side of the motor. And, uh, you know, you can see we've got this big two-step V-pulley on here. Uh, same sort of a bearing on the opposite side. And these things are uh, they're pretty deep. Must be at least... Gosh, at least two inches in there, the housing part of it anyway. I don't know how how wide the, the stuff inside of there is. At any rate, uh, I kind of wanted to ask Mike, like, I suppose I could pretty safely, I could try to remove this pulley. I imagine that's probably just as stuck as everything else is. But uh, I want to get in there and try to get these bearings moving again. Uh, testing procedures, I have no idea how to go about testing any of this stuff. I guess it wouldn't be too hard probably to clean it up and paint it again. Anyway, uh, any advice that you could offer me would be uh, very appreciated. All right, I'm not sure if you can see it, but here we've got, it looks like two wires. And the wires on this are in very bad condition, but it seems like there's two smaller wires. Like, uh, I don't know, these are maybe, maybe 16 gauge. I don't know, it's the old uh, cloth style wiring, but they seem to be tied together. And then... I believe there's just one large wire here and another larger wire here. It's a little bit hard for me to tell what's going on. Everything's all frayed and stuff. Uh, yeah, I think, I'm pretty sure that's what's going on. At any rate, that's that. Let's see if I can zoom in on this wiring tag. Maybe Mike can make a little sense out of that for me. I do have the tag on it and uh, it says induction motor. Uh, there's a, it looks like a serial number here. It says 2100395. And it says uh, the frame type, I guess, is 6B. And then there's another field that says uh, it's H type. I'm not sure what that means. Uh, three horsepower. It says the speed is 1200 assuming that's RPMs, three phase, 60 cycles, 240 volts, and then it says three horsepower down here again. And it says continuous duty, 40 degrees, 125% load, 100% at 65 degrees. Uh, full load amps, it says 8.28. And full load speed, it says 1,000 uh, 145. Uh, this motor does not appear to have brushes in it. And uh, it's stuck, which is unfortunate. It won't move at all. <clears throat> and being it's three phase, I don't really know if I'd be able to actually use it in my shop. But, uh, you know, I would like to get it working again. I could probably take it to work and see if they could uh, plug it in. Okay, so this thing's kind of a little hard to read. Uh, this square here is the 220 voltage. Uh, this side over here is for 440 volts. And uh, this looks like the three lines is uh, lines to, uh, excuse me, leads to line. It says that over here for the other one also. They're reading sequentially, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Uh, this one here is laid out exactly the same way. Uh, I have no idea what any of that means. Hopefully Mike can uh, help us out with that. All right, guys, hope you enjoyed that uh, little look at this electric motor. Uh, if you want to see more content like this, please uh, click on the old horizontal mill icon and uh, make sure to check out Mike's channel. 
Uh, he's got all kinds of interesting stuff. Does a lot of stuff with uh, vintage electric generator sets. All right, we'll see you guys around.